Hello, my name is Zev Gershon. I'm a physician and an attorney concentrating in medical malpractice, specifically cerebral palsy cases. Today I'd like to talk about fetal heart rate monitoring, specifically their interpretation. When any moms are in labor delivery, you know they put on the, the healthcare providers put on the belt, if you will, around the mom's abdomen and measure the baby's heart rate, as well as the mom's contractions. The relationship between the heart rate and contractions is very important to the health care provider to determine if the baby is tolerating the labor. There are generally several types of things that one can look at the monitor. For example, the heart rate itself. Is it a normal heart rate, which is generally between 110, 120, and 160? Below that, one can develop a bradycardia, a slow heart rate of the baby, and you don't want that. Above that, one can develop a tachycardia, a rapid heart rate of the baby and you don't want that if you can avoid it. During labor and delivery, depending on when contractions occur, a mom can also develop decelerations or fetal heart rate decelerations on the monitor. There are generally three kinds of decelerations called early, variable, and late decelerations. Early decelerations are called that because they occur early with respect to the contraction and late decelerations occur late with respect to the contraction. Well, those variable decelerations are variable, although the shape is a U or V shape, so it can be easily recognized. Early decelerations are usually reassuring, meaning all's well, and are usually due to head compression. Variable decelerations are usually due to cord compression, and many labors have cord compression, and it's not concerning. It's only when the variable decelerations become deep and persistent that is a cause of alarm because the baby not, may not be receiving enough oxygen or blood flow to the baby's brain during that time period. Finally, late decelerations are usually due to placenta problems. And again, if they persist and it cannot be improved, that also can be a warning sign to the labor and delivery. So we've talked about the baseline heart rate, we've talked about decelerations. The other thing I should mention about fetal heart rate monitoring is, of course, accelerations, which is a rise in the baby's heart rate. And that can be a reassuring sign that all is well. The final thing I do want to mention is what's called beat-to-beat -beat variability. That is, the jiggliness on the heart rate monitor. Generally, you want to see some jiggliness, if you will, some variation on the heart rate monitor. Whereas a baby that has a persistent flat line, that's not a good sign and may indicate some hypoxia. Putting it all together, these factors, that is, a healthcare provider can know how to manage a labor and delivery and which labors are allowed to proceed and which ones should get an operative delivery.